Get out of here right now. I don't think you do anything, because I don't think you're serious. You don't think I'm serious? No, I don't think you're serious. Oh, you think I'm bluffing? I think you're bluffing. You think I'm bluffing? I think you're bluffing. Then bluff this. Ryan, stab somebody. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. We're on season three, episode four of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Love this show. Can't get enough of it. Let's go ahead and see what they've got for us this episode. Give me a walkie. Frank, I'm, I'm having a hard time understanding what we're doing. Just give me the walkie-talkie. All right. Why did you hide your will in the ceiling? I didn't do it. Charlie did it. Well, why did Charlie hide your will in the ceiling? Because I didn't want to crawl around these goddamn vents. Hmm? Give me my gun. Oh, right. Yeah. Dude, I don't think you should be carrying this thing anymore, man. I mean, it always gets you into trouble. Recently, it has occurred to me that Dennis and Deandra stand to lose a lot of money because they're not my kids. They're gonna rub me out. I feel like you're being very paranoid about this. If you just go to a lawyer, you can draft up a new will. No big deal. Don't overthink this. Are we gonna see the lawyer again? Now, do you think you can make sense of Charlie's map? Because it's dark as a well digger's ass up here. Frank, no one understands the subtleties of Charlie's retardation better than me. Oh my I god. I you right to it. <laughs> it be Grand drawing. Shit. Seal me up. Seal me up. Get in. Get in. Just get in. What I say is the law. I'm the boss of both of you What are you talking about, man? Why are you standing like that? Because <laughs> I'm the big brother, dude, and I'm the boss of you. Where is this coming from, man? You are not our big brother. Yes, I am. So get me a beer, little bro, before I give you a serious noogie. Dude, a noogie. I swear to God, if you try and give me a noogie, I will yank your underwear over your head so hard, your asshole will rip it. Oh my God. What's up, bitches? Matt, can an asshole rip it half? Like tissue paper. <laughs> like tissue paper. Yes. Holy shit, what's going on here? Whoa, 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 what the hell are you guys doing? Whoa! Oh, okay. okay, okay, don't shoot, okay? Just take whatever you want. Yeah, take the cash register. Take the girl. Take the girl. <laughs> take the girl. Don't don't the girl. Just, go. You just, just go, go, D. But they're not trying to take me anyway. Don't try to be a hero, D. Just do what they say. They're not saying anything. Well, what's this is if you keep arguing with them, then we're all gonna die. <laughs> we don't want the girl. Then take the cash. We don't want the cash. Well, what the hell do you want? We're taking you bitches hostage. <laughs> The gang gets a hostage. The McFoils are get taking them hostage. <laughs> Is this because of um what they did to um their cousin? Was it their cousin Doyle Doyle McBoyle at the uh the Eagles game from that episode? <laughs> it's crazy. That's right, and we need a gas up boat, and we need a hundred thousand clams in a briefcase. Hundred thousand clams. Hollywood jacket, leather one, reversible. <laughs> we need a reversible planet Hollywood jacket. I can't believe this is happening. Taking hostage by McFoyles. We should just bum rush him. Hey, I'm the one making the demands here, Pig, and if they're not met in one hour, I'm gonna kill one of the hostages. <laughs> oh my god. You hear that? In one hour, we're gonna have Margaret shoot one of you in the face. And if any of you try to escape, we'll massacre you in a blaze of glory. And then play with your bodies. Especially Dennis. <laughs> Especially Dennis. Let's get the Especially Dennis. There's no way they're gonna get those demands. What if they can't get a plan of Hollywood jacket? Oh, those places don't even exist. <laughs> they don't even make those jackets, and then they'd have to cost the loan or something. He's not gonna give his thoughts on it. Maybe Aykroyd? They're not gonna part with us. They're not gonna part with us. touch with those guys. I mean, to focus Dan Aykroyd. This is serious. We could get Stockholm Syndrome. <gasps> oh my god, what is that? What is that? Is that start with a sore throat? Because I think I might be getting it. No, you're not getting it, Charlie. Oh, I'm sorry, are you a doctor? I don't think you're qualified to tell me whether or not I'm coming down with Stockholm Syndrome. Stockholm Syndrome, it, it messes with your mind. You start to empathize and then you could side with your captors. No. We could turn against each other. No, D is right. Now, look, we need to watch out for each other, okay? The only way that we're going to get through this is if we stick together. Nobody has to die. Somebody has to die. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Doesn't have to be one of us. No, it shouldn't be. It should be Mac or Charlie, right? I mean, what do they have to live for? Not one thing. So we need to form a pact. No matter what happens, you and I have to stick together. You and I will form an alliance. We'll form an alliance. Dennis is gonna try and have <laughs> I can't say that's good. He's gonna sell us all down the river. Okay, should we kill him first or well, something? Look, I don't want anybody to have to die, but if somebody does, there's no reason it shouldn't be Dennis. It should be Dennis, yeah. right? He, he had a great life. Oh, yeah, he had a sure. full, full None of them ride. are loyal oh, to each other. Fantastic ride. I had a terrible ride. Charlie, you had the worst ride. I had the worst you ride. You another could... shot at the ride. I want a better ride. Oh, you had a ride and ride. Okay. So listen, here's what we do. You and I, no matter what, we gotta stick together. Stick together. We should get to Mac, though, before Dennis does. 
Oh, Mac will be with us. Mac will be with us. Mm -hmm. Frank, Frank, come here, Frank. <laughs> the McPools have taken us hostage and they're threatening to kill all of us. It's too late for the guys, but there's plenty of time to save me. So come down here and get me out of here. <laughs> oh my Where God. the hell have you been? I've been looking for you for 20 minutes. I'm lost. I this forgot he was up there. The McPools have taken over the bar. They're threatening to kill one of us. Come save me. Holy crap. Forget about the rest of them, Frank. They're all gonna perish. It's just me. There's still time mm -hmm. to save me. Get down here. Not until I get that will. Once that will is safe and secure, I'll come and help you. The will? There's plenty of time to do that. We can do that some other time, too. No. This is all more reason to get that document. Who the hell knows how it's gonna shake out down there? Everybody get her up! I gotta go. I'll call you back. Ow! <laughs> All right, there's absolutely no way they're going to meet all of demands. So, you guys are going to dig a hole straight through the wall to the next building. We're going to go to the roof and escape by helicopter. Move on. Bitch. Here's how it's going to work. Two of you are going to dig while two of you rest, and then you switch. I volunteer switch. to rest first. Bullshit, you can't volunteer to rest. Oh, really? Well, you can be on my team if you want, but my team rests first because I called it. All right, great, then it's settled. I'm going to team will rest first. Charlie and Mac, you dig. You're going to be on D's team? Some loyalty, bro. Dude, what the hell, man? You don't want to be on my dick team? Easy, Charlie. You never said that. I feel like the syndrome's making y'all paranoid. It's making me crazy, dude. Hold I feel on. like my Oh, my God, he's burning up. Am I burning up? Gotta sit down. Okay. Gotta oh, my God, I'm getting <laughs> sick. Guys, clearly, Charlie's coming down with a nasty case of Stockholm syndrome. Now, the last thing you guys need is a room full of sick hostages. So, guys, do you mind if I grab a couple of beers? Because I feel like we would be a lot more relaxed if we had some beer. Oh, and a cooler. Do we get a cooler? Good idea, Charlie. Keep the beers cold. Right. Smart ah. thinking. Dude, what the <clears> hell? <throat> the cooler's gonna keep the beer cold. Well, how are we gonna do that without a cooler, yeah, man? Yeah, I appreciate a cold beer. So yeah, we should probably all have a cold beer inside of a cooler. All right, well, all right, we'll let's take a vote. All, uh, all, 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 all in favor of yeah, beer and coolers, great, great. Then it's settled. Charlie, go get a cooler. Double, Charlie. Okay, no beer, no coolers. Your hands up. Put your hand down. But your sister agrees with us. Yeah, she agrees with us on the side. She's a deaf mute. The only reason she raised her hands is because you guys did. Did they ever mention that before? She's a deaf mute. Let's try that again, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I wonder what else we could get her to do. Uh, uh, let's like, let's uh, blink really fast. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. oh, come on. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, that's that's Put your hands down and stop pointing. Leave a burger alone. You two in the bathroom, you two grab some shovel. Ryan, crank up the heat. We're going to get this place hot and clammy. Just like the McBoyles like it. Are they always cock guns in these movies, TV know. shows like that? Charlie, what are you trying to tell me? If here by now, then bad place be. Trouble time for you when he comes. <laughs> Jesus Christ, the kid's an idiot. <laughs> uh oh, is he turned on? What was? Oh. Oh. Yep, I'm guessing so. Damn, man, they're really cranking that heat, huh? Yeah, man, maybe that's why she dressed in that. Oh, of course, that's why they dress like that. They're gonna mm. stay all nice and cool while we get all hot and steamy. Why are you covering your mouth again? So she can't even read my lips, dude. I want to read my lips. Her? She can't read lips. You don't think? No way. Here, check this out. Do you understand what I'm saying? No. Can you understand the words that <laughs> I am you saying? You brown you mustache. Saying? You can't read lips, can you? <laughs> All right, Charlie. What's that? There's something I have to talk to you about. Yeah. I need you to help me out with this map. Whoa! What are you doing with my map, dude? Frank gave it to me. All right, he's up in the vents. All right, he's gonna try and retrieve his will. Now, if I guide it to him successfully, he's gonna give me a very large percentage of that. He thinks that Dennis and the what are you doing? It's boring, dude. I'm getting bored over here. <laughs> you should be paying attention, Charlie, because this could be very good for you. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, my God. Lose me. With Frank dead and the will gone, Charlie gets all the money. I get all the money? All the money. What money? The inheritance money. Okay, go. Good. Yeah, good. Do you understand what's happening? Kind of. <laughs> Do you understand what's going on with this map? Yes. Okay. Okay. okay, now just walk me through it and we'll go through the numbers yeah, later. It's a fake map. It's a decoy. Really? Yeah. Where's the real map? The real map is tattooed on my body. Get out of here. Yeah. Where? Here. You can't be serious. Oh, I'm dead serious. <laughs> this isn't possible. It's very possible. Dude, I'm not looking in your butt. You have to, dude. That's the only way to find the will. All right, but you gotta swear not to tell anybody. Oh <laughs> my goodness. I can't see anything. <laughs> Look closer. Is he just messing with him? What do you see? He push his butt on his face. What do you smell? Oh my god! <laughs> what do you mean? Are you kidding me? Why would you do something like that? Because you stole my map and Frank's in the fence. You're lying to me. We can die today. Oh my goodness. Alright, we don't have time to 
You never got to fart in your face before. Map. That's a real map. There's no fake map, idiot. <sighs> <laughs> Jesus. Jesus Christ. Are you kidding me? Oh. This is just unbelievable. How could anybody like it this hot? I feel woozy. Oh, it's bullshit. Got one oh. glasses of milk. Look warm. <laughs> Skin for the lady. Look, we don't want your milk, Liam. Then start breaking bricks, wet nips. <laughs> oh, shit. Start right? breaking yeah, bricks, right. wet nips. I think I can walk out of here right now. I don't think you do anything because I don't think you're serious. You don't think I'm serious? No, I don't think you're serious. Oh, you think I'm bluffing? I think you're bluffing. You think I'm bluffing? I think you're bluffing. Then bluff this. Ryan, stab somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the milk. Give me the milk. Oh my god, you My bad. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. One of the most terrifying things I've ever seen in my life. I mean, that must have taken so much heart. You know, to yeah. stab your brother like that? I mean, that is real dedication. What? <laughs> She's losing it. Okay, look, I, I She's getting Stockholm here. syndrome. Yes. The hour is coming upon us. Okay? Mm -hmm. oh, look, maybe I can corner one of them. All right, and manipulate them. Get inside their head and have sex with them. Oh. Mm -hmm. Have sex with them? No, huh? no, I was gonna say pit them against each other. What? I know. What? What, what did I say? You said no. Oh God, no. Those guys are disgusting. D. I think you're starting to show signs of Stockholm syndrome. No, mm -hmm. listen, I'm fine. All right, can we just focus here and just yeah. tell me what the plan is? Yeah, let's focus. Okay, here's the plan. All right, look, I know I can get the girl to fall in love with me. Okay. okay? Now I know I'm not one of the members of her family. I got that going against me, but mm -hmm. I do have a secret weapon. Boom. Okay. All right. I just need to get alone with her. Let my pecs do the talking. <laughs> what pecs? To the next, she'll lead me secretly to safety. <laughs> Boom. Man, watch with the goddamn heat. I'm roasting like a suckling pig up here. Oh, yeah, man. It's getting pretty hot up in this piece, huh? Must be miserable up in those vents, Frank. His head against Charlie, the urinal. Is that you? Gross. Yeah, it's me. Hey, are you lost? I warned you never to go up in those vents without me. Uh, yeah, a little bit. Hey, Charlie, do you think you can give the walkie-talkie over to Mac? I gotta talk to him privately. <laughs> yeah, hold on a second. Yo, buddy, I'm here. Mac, go somewhere where you're alone. <laughs> okay, Frank, we're alone. Whatever <laughs> happens, make sure Charlie's the first one to die. Why? What? Why? Because of this will business, he stands to gain the most out of it. That's a very good point. That's an excellent yeah, point. That's a good point. All right. Uh, that's a good plan, Frank. I'll get back to you about 10. All right, get back to me, 10-4. Okay, well... I think it's pretty clear what we should do. Yeah. Frank has to die. Gotta kill Frank. <laughs> Gotta kill him. Yeah. So once the McPoyles take out Dennis, D, and Frank, yeah. then you and I will split the money right down the middle. Ooh, 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 ooh. ooh, ooh, ooh. That's kind of a lot, don't you think? That's a lot. I'll tell you what. I know. I'll give you 25%. 25%? That's my money. Depending on how big the will is, might not be bad. Put those on. Why? It's too obvious who the hostages, who the captors are. <laughs> no match. We're going to confuse the cops. Some whitey tighties. Oh my god. All right, your time is almost up. We thought we spiced things up with an immunity challenge. The team who wins will be exempt from the first round of shootings in the face. <laughs> the first oh, round? That's a great idea. D, shut up. What the hell is she talking about? She's got Stockholm Syndrome. No, I don't. No, I just think it's a good way to decide who to kill first. I'm trying to put myself in their position. You know, it's called compassion, dickheads. Maybe if you guys had a little bit of it, you wouldn't be in this mess in the first place. And then we wouldn't be standing here trying to figure out which one of you we have to kill. But that's where we are, so hand me that shotgun. <laughs> She's going crazy. I'd like to do this mess myself. Get on your knees, bitches! What are you doing? Now you're on their side? You want to be a McPoyle trash bag? Huh? If you want to be a McPoyle, you've got to earn that the hard way. Gross. We'll learn that later on. But for now, the challenge is this. Whoever can destroy more things on the inside of this bar wins. And the teams have changed. It's now Dee and Charlie versus Mac and Dennis. You have one minute to plan your strategy. Starting now. Right, I think I got a plan to get us out of this, but I need you to do the destroying the bar thing. Can you do that? No problem. I'm a great destroyer. Are you kidding me, dude? You're a born smasher. Yes. I'm a born smasher. Born right. smasher. I'm going to work a different angle with the girl. Work those pecs. Yeah, exactly. All right, dude. Pecs. All right. Pecs. What? I love you. 
Go, go, go! <laughs> I love you. I got a plan. Okay, I'm gonna start by wrecking the back office. I don't think anyone thought of that. The back office? Charlie, I feel like there's a lot more I, stuff. I have. Oh, oh. Okay, listen to me, okay? I don't blame you for that betrayal, but you're acting nuts. All right, listen, I'm sorry about that whole thing. Right? <gasps> Shut up, okay? <laughs> I'm trying to save your life here, D. Listen, I'm gonna save your life by wrecking that back office. We gotta stick together, okay? You got it? Yes, I got it, Charlie. Time's up, assholes. Start smashing! Mm. I love you. <laughs> I love you, smash. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, I said to come in here and take a break from all the excitement. It's got me all sweaty. So sweaty. Do you mind? Margaret. <laughs> you like sweat, don't you? It is Margaret, isn't it? Of course it is. Oh my goodness. Eyebrow. Drives me crazy. It's so thick. It's so dark. I'm so very connected. <laughs> You're stone connected cold eyebrow. fox, Margaret. You're a stone cold fox, and I want you. I gotta have you. I need you. I want you inside me. <laughs> what? <laughs> you know that. <laughs> Look at yourself, Dean! You're the little monster! Huh? Not my fault, I'm sick! I know, Dean. I know, you're the one who first told us about Stockholm Syndrome. But I feel like if you just snap out of it, there's a chance that we can survive this if we just stick together. Okay, okay. Right. Time's up. Oh Looks like Mag and Dennis take it. Nice! Blast away, boys! <laughs> Blast away, boys! Wait, <laughs> oh my god. God damn it. I had a Charlie. feeling. Franklin, Franklin. Oh. When we get out of this, I am going to shove my fist right into your ass. Hard and fast. <laughs> Not in a sexual way. In a I am pissed off at Not you way. Not in a sexual way. For turning off your walkie talkie and leaving me in this shithole. Charlie has escaped. Repeat, Charlie has escaped. I think he's gonna come after you, man. Don't worry about it. I can take care of myself. Huh? God! I just stepped in glass. There's broken bottles all over the place. Broken bottles everywhere? Oh, shit, dude. I think you're in Charlie's bad room. What the hell is that? It's where he goes to be alone and break bottles. Mm -hmm. Dude, you gotta be real careful. He's gonna find you. I can take care of myself. Hello, Frank. Oh, he found you. Call you back. Be careful, be careful. Hi, Charlie. Looking for your will, Pop? <laughs> That's exactly what I'm looking for. You know, it's funny what kind of men we turn into in circumstances like this. I heard who you wanted to have killed. Put that goddamn Mac. And tell me, Frank, what do you think about this? Is that not what he wanted? I like that very much. Yeah. That's exactly why I came up here. No, it's the... Oh, yeah, I guess it is. Uh -huh. no, let's get the hell out of here. No, I don't think so, Frank. You see, I don't need you anymore now, do I? What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you doing? Put Frank. your hands down. Yeah. Charlie, put your hands down. Yeah. Charlie, don't lie, Dad. Oh, my God. <laughs> you hear that everywhere now, dude. That's ridiculous. Lead me the hell out of here. Right, oh, fine. my God. How? This way. They're ridiculous. Put the gun. I was gonna go that way. No, that would've been all wrong. <laughs> oh my god. Nice. All right, that was uh, nice. That was very hot, sweaty, passionate, milky. <laughs> milky. Uh, now let's get out of here. Let's sneak out of here. You know, let's start life together. Let's get out of this crazy place together. Come on, let's go. Sneak me out. Mm -hmm. no, 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 no. We're done with the kissing part. God, right, that looks part's over. Like he's we're just now, oiled now up. You sneak me out of here. We're at that part now. All right. No, 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 no. Oh, God. Please tell me you understand what I'm saying. Do you understand me? Do you understand? Oh, you don't understand, do you? Oh my God, solve it for nothing. What the hell is going on here? Uh, nothing. <laughs> Doesn't look like nothing, but for the record, I'm into it. It's so gross. Way to the roof. It's time to pay the piper. Okay, it's a couple hundred more yards and we're out of here. A couple hundred more yards. That's it. Push. <sighs> a couple hundred yards. Freaking bench. You gotta be kidding me.
and they're crawling that slow that would take forever. No, she's got Stockholm syndrome. Don't listen to her, okay? She'll betray you. I'm the one that won the immunity challenge. I'm the one that should live. Uh, well, actually, we both won the immunity challenge because we were on the same team, so we're both safe. No, I did all the work. You were in the bathroom getting laid. He was getting laid. Bro, I love inbreeding. I like men in tight white underpants. Get on your knees. God damn it. Damn, they made it about pretty quick. We're free, dude. We're free. Uh, you say their building's not a couple hundred yards oh, long. Right? A single shot. Oh, I got him. I love you. God, I love you. Go. I got you. I got you, brother. Oh, no, you <laughs> oh my god. What are you doing? Stop. Oh my god. <laughs> My, it didn't look like that high up. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's not too, too high. Are you alright? Yeah. I think I might get a bruise on my heel. That's not bad. <laughs> no. It's not really bad at all. It's pretty what? Wait, like, why is, is there not cops Why don't you guys climb down that ladder? This, right. this whole thing was fake. Later, bitches. Later, bitches? What? So, they're just leaving? Wait, 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 why are they leaving? What is happening here? They, just, they just screwed rubber? with him. That's amazing. Rubber? Rubber <laughs> She's right. Rubber. Rubber gun, There's no police. Yeah. There's no police down there. Oh, my what goodness. Is what is going on here? Are they here? just screwing with us? Where are the cops? <laughs> Revenge, we got you, sucker! Okay, yeah. Oh, yes. That had to have been revenge for when they shot uh, their their cousin. <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing. God damn it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what a funny episode. That was great. I love that we get to keep seeing these reoccurring casts. I absolutely love the McPoyles, and we're finding out more information. I don't think they ever mentioned that Margaret was a deaf mute. Maybe they did. If they did, I completely forgot. But I, they are just like... They're just such gross individuals, but they play their characters so well. I absolutely love this one. <clears throat> Let me get started on the next uh, episode, and I'll have that one up here shortly as well. But until next time, guys, take care.